It was a language that Chester Nez was once punished for for speaking in school, but it would become a primary weapon in World War II. Nez died Wednesday at the age of 93 years old, the last living member of the so-called Code Talkers, an elite group of 29 Navajo Marines that used their native tongue, developing a code of Navajo words to deceive the enemy. And I think that's one of the greatest things that we have done during World War II. Nez explained the system in an interview before his death. I think the code that we developed has a lot to do with the animals that we live with and the what birds and the sea creatures. These are some of the things that a lot of people don't know too much about, the name and how they live and how they go about their lives. Members of the Code Talkers were sent onto the battlefield to use their code to communicate over radio. Even in an era when the Navajo people weren't allowed to vote, Nez served his country with pride. After World War II, he volunteered to serve two more years during the Korean War. For years, Nez's family said they only knew that he fought the Japanese during World War II. He was unable to speak about his role as a Code Talker until the mission was declassified in 1968. He retired in 19. 1974 after working as a painter at the VA hospital in Albuquerque. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.